Two big questions emerged after last night's vice presidential debate. Was there a clear winner and will it even matter? Our Daniel Marine joins us now. He heads up our campaign context series. Uh, Daniel, thank you for being here. Of course. It was a busy night for a lot of people uh, tuning in to this very consequential debate. And I know you've spent some time looking back at past VP debates, but what did you think about this one and how maybe that fit into that context? Well, it seems like this really isn't going to move the needle very much. For the most part, it was a, I would say, a pretty even performance from mm. Senator Vance and Governor Walls, both nominees. They were pretty cordial with each other. They were even tempered with each other. They were polite. They even introduced each other to each other's wives after the debate. So just kind of a stark contrast to what we're used to seeing in politics these days. Yeah, such a different tone and even more specificity in terms of policy, mm -hmm. uh, particularly from J.D. Vance. He was able to articulate some policy uh, you know, points of view more so than Donald Trump. Uh, did during his presidential debate, but uh, what are we seeing in terms of the polling, you know, just less than 24 hours after that debate happened? Right, well, it, it's kind of what you would expect right now. <laughs> Politico has some quick overnight polling numbers showing that, you know, Republicans think that uh, Vance did the best, Democrats think that Walls did the best, so no surprise there, but um, what we should point out, though, that Politico did point out that Walls seemed to do younger with, uh, do better with younger college-educated people and black and Latino voters. Mm -hmm. now, those are all voters that helped put push Biden over the top in 2020. As we mentioned though, the historical context of this, if you're looking back at past vice presidential debates, it really doesn't seem they move the meter all that much for either candidate. Right, yeah, it, it turns out these types of debates, the vice presidential debates, they really don't tend to matter. Hmm. Uh, some of that is because the VP nominees, well their job is really they call them the attack dogs, right? They're trying to get their running mates elected. Uh, they're talking less about themselves and their own records. So frankly, that can be kind of dull for viewers to be watching at home. It seems like the only times that VP debates really kind of matter is if one of the candidates makes a major flub, makes a big mistake. And of course, in these modern digital times, if they become a meme, for all of the wrong reasons. It is interesting to see what catches fire on social media right. and gets shared a lot. Uh, as we're also looking at this, I mean, we have had a change at the top of the ticket mm -hmm. pretty late into this election cycle, so that maybe that changes the calculus for this particular debate. I will say, yeah, the stakes were a little bit higher last night than in previous election cycles. We're about a month away from election day. That's typically when we do see the VP debates right around this time, early October. The difference, of course, this time is that we've only had one presidential debate at this point. Mm. Uh, Usually most of the election cycles have at least two. Back in 2020, the last presidential debate was actually on October 22nd. That was days away from the election. Vice President Harris would certainly like another debate. Former President Trump at this point doesn't seem to want another debate. Yeah, she has certainly pushed for that. Uh, how are the nominees, though, polling ahead of last night's debate, too? Yeah, we had some numbers from AP and NORC. If we can put them up on the screen. Headed into last night, uh, Governor Waltz. He was viewed more positively by voters, according to the Associated Press. Walls had 42% favorable opinion among all registered voters. That was compared to Vance's 27%. Again, so this was before last night's debate. So Vance did have a little bit of ground to make up last night in terms of trying to win over the general public. Yeah, it will be interesting to see whether those numbers shift at all because of last night's performance. And we talked to the Texas Politics Project a little bit earlier today. Mm -hmm. They said they're going to be putting out a poll very soon, so maybe we'll have a better look about right. how Texas voters feel about both candidates. Let's see how it goes. 